Hey guys, so it's nighttime, but I didn't get to give y'all the whole interest. Shop birthday is on the 23rd of this month. So he's having a little like cookout type of thing. So I came, but I didn't get to like open up the vlog. I didn't get to open up the vlog and it's a bunch of music playing, but I'm gonna take y'all in there. It's just gonna be like a montage mode because I can't really vlog because it's all this music and stuff. So let's go. Everybody's here. Mama, Papa, everybody. We're not dance tonight. Not dance. I'm kidding. But that's a, like, like a nice little cookout. And I'm a little nervous because I got this bright light. And everybody probably going to wonder what the heck I'm doing with this bright light. But anyway, let's go. Get them up. Yeah. Everybody up. Love and look. Yeah. Get them up. Yeah. Come and do. Spend a couple of dumb. Yeah. Make the club shit. Yeah. You can check my dad. Today's video is sponsored by Timu. If you're not sure what Timu is, where are you? Timu is the up and coming e-commerce website. They sell a plethora of things y'all for the low low. I have a little bit of everything to show y'all today. We're going to start out with just accessories and stuff that I got and then we're going to move on to some of the clothing items. So let's get into it. The first thing I want to show y'all is this purse right here. It is advertised as a beach bag. Material is rubbery, so it's definitely waterproof. It's perfect for the beach, in my opinion. I had to bring y'all down a little bit so y'all can see the size of this thing. It is pretty big. Your blanket can fit in here, a good book, your sunscreen, everything I feel like that you need to bring to the beach can fit in this bag right here. Next item that I got is this toothpaste um, holder for the bathroom. You just pop your toothpaste on the top, and you just push your toothbrush in and squeeze it out, and it comes... Your toothpaste just squeeze right out so this gets the last bit of your toothpaste i'm excited to try this out in the bathroom all right and the second thing is this portable oral irrigator aka a water floss um so this is what it looks like you have three colors this is what it looks like comes with all the accessories on the inside comes with three different options so you can go soft normal or you can post it i'm really excited to try this because i've been meaning to get a water flosser um so yeah i'm excited to try this so timu a water floss i'm telling you they sell everything y'all literally everything for the lolo another thing that i got is this acrylic holder for my perfume you can literally do it for any different things perfume skincare whatever you want to do it for um this did not come assembly you do have to assemble it it's pretty straightforward came with all the accessories the screws and they gave you a um what's that thing called and they gave you an all-in key as well to like tighten the screw so it comes with everything that you need you can design this in different forms on how you want it it feels very sturdy this does not feel like it's cheap it feels very sturdy or something that you would order on amazon or something like that another thing that i got which ended up being for kai is this um shoe stand <laughs> y'all on the website it didn't look as to me it looks very childlike but it's gonna be for kai like i said i don't feel like it's sturdy enough to hold my shoes on there but if you have like a kid you can store their shoes on there as for an adult shoe i wouldn't necessarily trust this to hold heavier shoes so next i have some accessories that i want to show y'all i got this claw clip it's really pretty it's butterfly really nice for a bunch of earrings here goes some rings. They sent these elastic scrunchy type things. These are perfect, especially when I go to the gym. I love these. So these are nice as well. Another random item that I got, I kept seeing this on TikTok and I was just, I saw this on the website. I'm like, mm, I wanted to try it. I haven't tried it yet, but hopefully by the time I upload this video, I will try it and I'll tell you what I think on screen. Um, hopefully I remember, but it's this super clean it's supposed to be like the jelly type thing that you use to clean your car it gets all the gunk in areas that are hard to reach i'm gonna try this in the car because in a cup holder sometimes you know i would try and get in the crevice and corners of it so this will be helpful with doing that so today's monday actually eh, today's tuesday i forgot yesterday was memorial day i just got to work i got to work a little early today like this is probably the earliest i've been to work 
in a long time. <laughs> so I got a little time on my hands. Um, I'm still trying to like get myself together. It's not much to do today, to be honest. It's basically the la last week of school. Um, the kids' last day is the 7th, which is next Tuesday or Wednesday. But for real, for real, this is the last week of school. They go on their field trip on Friday, everything. So my goal for this week is just to pack up my classroom. It's pretty bare right now, but I have stuff tucked away. I have stuff in the cabinets and stuff that I need to get rid of because I'm trying to use the students when they come. That's a trick to when you're packing up your classroom. Use them and they love helping teachers. I don't know what it is, but they will pack up, like get my drawer right together for me. So I'm going to use that to my advantage while they're here. So everything is not like back on me. So it's the last full week. I'm finalizing my grade book this week and everything. Basically, I'm making sure my classroom is packed up by the end of the week. My grade book, my grades are finalized, like literally everything, housekeeping business that I have to do. So next week is just cruising. I'm not stressing about packing anything up or, you know, where does this go? Yeah, I'm about to journal. I have to find a journal prompt. I don't really have anything on my mind that I need to free write today. Usually, if my mind is going like a bajillion, um, miles per minute i'll just free write and like you know just to clear my head a little bit but i am just gonna try to find me a journal prompt on tiktok um, i don't know let's see not me writing that the year is 2015 what the heck maybe that's what i should journal about the year is 2015 take us back to your most vivid memory of 2015 <gasps> that's tough that's tough but no so the journal prompt that we're working with it says do i make decisions out of fear or love i like it um i already know the answer let me know down below if you make decisions Base, most majority because i feel like it's a mix of both right if we're being honest but the majority of your decision do you make them out of fear or do you make them out of love <sighs> i'm a fear <laughs> i need to cut that out that's one thing i want to improve on myself like i make a lot of decision out of fear um but i'm just gonna expand on that trying to think about why are there any traumas you know all those things I like to like dive deep with my journal prompts. Like I be going heavy. Anyway, I'm about to journal before the kids come up. Let me know down below if you make decision based on fear or love. And I'll see y'all in the next clip. what's up so today is friday i think the last time my vlog was maybe like tuesday or wednesday no definitely i think tuesday when i told you i was clearing out my classroom and that i did do let me show y'all so yeah i'm pretty much packed the only thing i have to put those crates back outside because i'm not going to end up using them anymore my cart up there is filled with like everything but i'm going to take those out and pack in my cabinet usually every year they tell us like to empty everything but apparently we can keep stuff packed in our cabinet this year as long as i lock it so that's what i'm going to do instead of using all these crates and then i have some like supplies that i can just recycle into next year like i have a lot of colored pencils pens markers highlighters everything and just like staplers all my lesson plan y'all for anyone that's aspiring to teach here's why teaching gets easier one obviously you learn and stuff but let me show y'all usually usually i'm never this organized but coming into next year i have all of my lessons um, it's separated by each report period. So um, there are four report periods. I have all four 
right here. So these are all the lessons that I've taught this year. The stack might seem small, but I didn't include like the worksheets and everything like that, just the lesson itself. And then, so when it comes into next year, I could just pull for this lesson. I do end up rewriting them because I feel like every year my methods get better and like my questioning and everything gets better. But So yeah, I basically have every lesson that I'll teach um already prepped and ready so this is why teaching gets easier so if you're a first time teacher even second year um because honestly it didn't get easy for me easy still hardest ever but as far as content goes it took me about two three years so if you're a first or second year teacher i would say start saving your materials especially if you're gonna say teach the same content area i remember my first two years here i did not teach the same con well i still taught algebra but i taught 10th grade algebra which um is like the second half of what i teach now so i'm teaching the whole full course if you're a first or if you're a first or a second year teacher it gets easier because all you gotta do is just like keep all your lesson plans i literally just threw out my first lesson plan from four years ago because they got better because so like they're getting better every year but at least you have a base so you're not scrambling like oh my gosh i need to create a lesson plan i need a lesson plan because i remember my first second even my third year teaching like i was just like i hate doing lesson plans it used to consume me so much like hours and now i don't have hours to sit down on lesson plan so keep them it's it's better than nothing it's better than that. Today was supposed to be a trip day, field trip day for the kids, for our ninth grade students, and they, their trip got canceled. But I feel so bad for my ninth graders. As much as they got on my nerves this year, like they never get to do anything fun. This was their one thing that they were excited about, and the one thing got taken away from them. That sucks. I feel like ninth grade necessarily didn't. Ninth grade does like. A lot of things got taken away from ninth grade because of the behavior in the beginning. But I'm like, it's the end of the year. Y'all really, y'all only went on like one trip this year? To Dave and Buster's. To Dave and Buster's. Like, the boys were getting their fade on. The girls were getting their hair did. Like, nails did. Everything did. Oh my gosh. Can you imagine? And I don't like when kids get like disappointed after you like, yeah, it sucks. It sucks. It really sucks. So I guess the kids, I mean, some kids out there trying to advocate for themselves as they should, but it's empty in here, which I'm glad about because I was planning on having a smooth day today. Um, but still no kids are in my class right now, which if I wasn't going on a trip no more, I wasn't coming. That would have been my thing. I wouldn't have showed up, but. Yeah, that's basically what I'm here doing. I'm about to go make my tea. That's why my microwave is yelling at me. I'm about to make my ginger tea and I'll come back and check y'all a little bit. Hey guys, so today is 91 degrees. It's going to be 91 degrees. It's not 91 degrees yet, but since it's warmer out, you know, I want to bring Kai out and stuff. So I ordered a pool on Amazon. I'll link it down below, just like a baby pool for him. You're going, out, you're going in a pool? You going in the pool? I'm saying Say yes. Yeah. Tough your time, me. Tough your time. Good boy. Splash, splash, splash. Good morning, y'all. I am at work right now. Did not get to upload a vlog this past Monday. Um, and I like to keep like a Monday schedule. And I did not upload, so I need to edit a video. Luckily, the kids aren't at school. Like, kids haven't been at school this week. Like, we get one or two kids. And as soon as we see them, they be going home because they see nobody else is here. So, I literally, I'm not even rushing to come to work anymore. Like, I should up when i show up like it's so empty like we're literally here doing nothing i've been packed my classroom up i didn't even get to show y'all so this is what my classroom looks like currently i just need to roll that card outside i just need to where is it i just need to roll that card outside and this bin and i need to just put my microwave and my refrigerator out there as well but um that's pretty much it today is graduation so i really want to leave early chavez graduated today so 
I need to get dressed but I did not prep any wigs I forgot yesterday last night actually I was like oh crap tomorrow's graduation and I don't know where my wigs are like literally <sighs> I should have just ordered like a wig and just like started from scratch that would have been easier low-key but that's not gonna happen and go home wash and prep a wig so I could wear I kind of know what I'm gonna wear um, luckily I ordered a bunch of clothes that I'm gonna do a haul for so I probably just pick something out of I probably just pick something out of whatever I ordered to wear today and call it a day um, but yeah school is pretty much over it's the end of the school year it's been one heck of a year I am so excited to do nothing this summer um, I'm about to make some tea because I gotta drink my tea in the mornings. So that's why my microwave was going off. This is legit my favorite ginger tea. If I'm not, um, like if I'm not making, like using the real ginger, this is my best bet. But yeah, I just wanted to check in with y'all. Usually I do, I like a pack up my classroom with me. But I had really, I had my students do it, do it. They really enjoyed it. So I just had them doing it and I couldn't film them. So it is what it is. And yeah, I'm pretty much just going to sit down here and drink my tea and edit real quick. Well, not real quick. I don't know how long. Usually I try to like start editing. I edit a little bit throughout the week. But I have not even touched. The most I've done is like uploaded the files to my laptop. But I have not started to edit yet. So that's going to take me a little time. And hopefully, today is Wednesday. Hopefully I can upload latest Friday. Let's be realistic. Latest Friday. Um, so I'll check y'all in a little bit. I'll probably check y'all later. Because um, I'm really going to try my best to just like knock out this edit. Probably when I'm getting ready for graduation or something. So see y'all in a little bit. I don't know if I told y'all, but I started going back to the gym now, like faithfully. I literally, I feel like ever since I got back from Jamaica, I never got into like a full routine back into the gym until like this week. So it's been like legit probably two months off and on that I've been going to the gym with. Since June, I've been trying my best. I made this protein smoothie this morning. I only put like three parts of a banana in it, like cut three tiny parts and it overpowers it. I don't like it, but I'm gonna drink it. <laughs> I'm gonna drink it. Y'all, I'm still editing two hours later. Um, so hopefully I can finish up soon. I'm about to go on break though. I'm about to go home and wash my wig and then come back. Wig change, same day, same everything. It's <laughs> thinking about it this shit is so ghetto but um so i left work doing my break to go home I, I don't live far from work at all um so i went home to wash the wig that i had on because i was thinking like what wig can i wear later for real for real i was thinking what wig can i really wear later that would just be quick for me to like go home and roop so it was the wig i had on so i had just went home washed it and leave it to air dry and y'all it's so crazy because before i went home right i was like man i feel like we're doing some calm meal porridge like from the other day i've been fiending for calm meal porridge like I, and i didn't say nothing i was thinking about calling my grandma i'm like can you make some calm meal porridge and i went on home and when i went home y'all calm meal porridge is on the stove like she knew so um i got my porridge and I stopped to eat water crackers because literally I, I don't like common part with bread. I don't like it with anything but crackers. So I had stopped and got some crackers. So it is pretty hot. Like this is fresh off the stove. So it's burning. So I'll open it so it can air out a little bit. I'm back to editing now. It's 11.16. So we killing time. It's about three hours since I came here. Literally still nothing to do. I saw three kids um, came in here earlier. They were just stopping by to say hi and so it's really nobody here and we're having a little cookout at the house after graduation i don't know because graduation this year is a little late it ends at seven so i really don't know that. and that give us about an hour and a half for light outside let me know down below what y'all eat with y'all porridge because 
I know some people like bread. Some people don't like anything at all. But dip the crackers in there, make it get look a bit soggy. Oh. Chavez Hamilton. Yeah. Zero me I come from Bolubani no. Hey guys, um, it's the next day. Graduation was yesterday. I only got a tad bit of footage from that because one, I didn't want to put like the kids' faces in there. To the after celebration at the house. By the time we got home, we had like 30 minutes and it was dark outside. And we were just playing domino. I was playing domino the whole time and just like drinking. So it wasn't much to vlog. Um, so yeah, congratulations to Shab. I'm so 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 proud of him. Now we back at work today. I am currently cleaning out my microwave. I like to like leave stuff clean over the summer because I don't know. Last year when I went on maternity leave. And I left my refrigerator, like obviously I left like with no notice. I came to work one day and had Kai like that same day. So I didn't know I was gonna be out. So I had left my refrigerator and everything plugged in and somebody used it and left like food in it. And when I came back in August, that refrigerator, oh my gosh y'all, it had molds and it. it was so nasty. So I'm like, I have to leave everything clean because I know everything will be locked away over the summer. So I'm just going in. The microwave isn't dirty because I, I do a pretty good job of keeping it clean. Good morning, guys. Today is a freaking exciting day because it's my last freaking day of work for the summer. Oh, my God. I thought this day would never come. I've been dreaming about this day. I've been praying about this day and it is here. <laughs> as much as I love teaching, oh lord, it's just something about the summer. I am excited. The camera is going to be a little shaky because Sweet's cleaned my car and I don't know what he did with my the pad thing, the sticky pad that I put my camera on. So, I have to order another one. Yeah. So, like I said, it's the last day of school. I am too freaking excited. The kids' last day was yesterday. My face came and saw me, and I ordered them Chick-fil-A. So we had like a little Chick-fil-A chat and, you know, ended off the school year on a positive note. So they left yesterday. Today is our the staff last day. As y'all know, I've been packed up. <laughs> so some teachers had to go in at 8 today to do their room checkout, but I already did it. So they put our start time for 9 o'clock. It's 9:24, and I'm just heading in because technically we're supposed to be having a grade team meeting right now. So all the ninth grade teachers will be meeting, but we met yesterday. We knocked it out yesterday, so it's nothing to meet about. So I'm showing up now. I think we have a staff huddle with like everybody at around like 10 or 10:45 somewhere there. No, I think it's at 10. Yeah, I think it's at 10. So I'm just heading in, girl. I. Uh, I'm ready to go. I threw the hoops on for them today. Listen, we threw, we threw the big earrings on for them today. And then afterwards, after our staff huddle, they're having like a little celebration. <clears throat> so we can have a little drink and drink. Um, after work, I don't know if I'm going though. Good morning, Sweet. So that's our call. We have a 10 o'clock meeting. And so I wasn't rushing here. Like, um, so yeah, I'm pretty much done, y'all. I'm pretty, pretty much done. All I have to do after this meeting is just turn my laptop and my keys in. And I'm done for the school year. I might say done for today, but I'm done for the school year, honey. I'm done until August. I am so excited, but I'm ready. I'm ready to go. It's been one heck of a year. It's been oh my gosh like i haven't even processed my thoughts yet i need a journal about it but it's been a crazy year i'm about to head upstairs early so i can get me a nice little seat and i'm gonna check y'all later so guys just left work oh i feel so light i like i feel so light. y'all don't even understand <sighs> this year took a toll on me mentally so i'm just ready I'm just happy for like a nice little mental break. It took me to ground zero 
and it's so many times throughout the school where I bounced back and I rose up again I bounced back and I rose up again and it was just I was not in a good space mentally and I'm just glad it's over I'm glad for a mental break you know I feel like I can smell the flowers now I'm so freaking relieved I don't even know what I'm gonna do with myself but yeah i got some plans for the summer as far as like working goes and like giving my content basically my all um so yeah i'm going to starbucks as a treat to finish off the school year um to just get me some starbucks that's all i want like i'm not picky like all i need is some starbucks all i need in this life of sin is some starbeezy some star Yo, I just got home and I'm still feeling very much celebratory. So we're still celebrating. I'm about to make me a drinky drink. Got my cup. I'm about to get some ice. Need some pineapple juice. And a Casamigo. Stir, stir, stir. Free like a bread now, this guy. <laughs> Hello, Kaya been free. Oh man, Kaya just woke up. Maybe not like a bread in this day. Mm, so good.